Watch you guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Win7 Defender 2013, and that's if you're running on a Windows 7 machine. Now, if this was a Windows XP machine, this will be Win XP Defender 2013. It's the same sort of thing, really, and you can use the same method to remove it. So, what we're going to do here is have a look at the actual program itself and then uh, we're going to show you how to kill the process and remove it from the system. It's pretty straightforward really. Now obviously the best way to remove these is always from safe mode with networking and if you don't know how to do that and get into safe mode with networking then the instructions are on the screen right now. Okay so now we've got um, the actual program running and as you can see here it's, it's loading up a load of fake scans. Um, it's saying I'm in heavily infected with all these infections they're all bogus, they're not real, and it will be the same amount of uh, infections every single time. So how are we going to remove this from the system? You can't run any applications from the desktop or anything like that because it stops it. Uh, it won't allow you to run any executables. So what we need to do is kill the process. And we're going to do that with a free tool from a bleeping computer. It's called Rkill, and we're going to use that to remove it. And as you can see, it's given us 33 critical system objects. So let's have a look at the registration part first. So I'm going to go up to support here and have a look at support and then click purchase full version. And this is what it takes you to and what they're trying to do is con you out of your money. And as you can see it looks pretty convincing um, but it's it, it's nothing uh, but a fake really so don't be paying for these types of things. Let's look at the registration tab here up the top right hand corner and then go to manual activation. Now the code you see on the screen now should activate this product for free uh, for Windows 7 and Windows XP. No matter what version you're on, use this code and uh, click uh, activate on this tab here and this will activate and register your product. Now what that's going to allow you to do is run Malwarebytes um, and Hitman Pro and all these different types of programs without any worries because it will allow you to run these and it, it will kill the process basically but we're going to force kill the process just in case that uh, code doesn't work so what I'm going to do here is come down to the start of the all button and in the run bar here I'm going to type in a link well basically paste the link in and you can type yours in and the link is on the screen right now but if you need the link it will be in the video description and I'm going to push enter on the keyboard this will open up a browser and then give us the actual download and then all you need to do here is download this and drag it onto the uh, desktop here like so. I've already got mine on my desktop. The next one you need to do the next one you need to do is why you've got this window open is fix exe c dot exe and it's another one from bleeping computer it basically fix the executable part if you can't run any programs because the uh, executable associations have been uh, damaged and you can use this to actually uh, fix that issue for you. And the last one we need is Malwarebytes. Just in case you haven't got it, you can get a direct link, and this is the direct link while the window's open. I'm just going to push Enter on the keyboard again. It will download straight away, like so, and then you just drag these onto your desktop, like so. Now you've got all your free tools. I've got mine on my desktop already. Okay, so now you've got your free tools here. You can see mine, I explore Malwarebytes and uh, fix executables uh, associations. What we're going to do is kill the uh, process first with uh, I explore. I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator. And as you can see, that's killed that um, process. And it puts a log file on your desktop. So click OK and close this off. The next thing you're going to do is run fix exec and this is going to fix any executable issues that you may be having if you can't run any applications. I'm going to click OK here, OK again. And now you want to install Malwarebytes and run that. I've already got mine installed. Now we've got this. Uh, open here we're going to go to the update tab click on updates click OK and then we want to run a quick scan
Okay, click OK here. Now you may have some more results here depending on what infections you've got. Show results and then we're going to click Remove Selected. Now it wants us to restart, but before I restart, I'm going to say No, click Exit. I'm going to run Hitman Pro. Okay, that's good. No threats found. Now, if you have had infections on your system, it's always best to run things like uh, TDSS Killer as well, just to make sure that you've got no rootkits that have been dropped on the system with the actual uh, rogue. And then once we've done that, we're going to do a quick reboot of the system. Okay, so we're back at the desktop now. Now, if you have got any other infections on the system, it's always best to uh, run ESET Online Scanner and stuff like that, just to make sure. And there is other tools that you can use. And but pretty much, I would say that this uh, infection is now gone, and uh, that will be it for this video. So now, if you have got XP, it's going to be a similar, same process. You just have to follow that process for XP, and you should be up and running. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and show your support by rating and favoriting my videos. If you haven't followed me on uh, Facebook yet, then the uh, link's down below. And also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, the link should be down below now. And if you've got any uh, video requests, then YouTube is the actual place to get some help with that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.